All right, this is going to be a quick demonstration on how to change the date and time on specifically this Volkswagen keychain camera. One important thing to do before you use one of these keychain cameras is if you have a micro SD card, you want to put it in one of these adapters and then plug it into your computer. This box will come up. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to format this micro SD card really quick. Uh, sometimes that helps with some issues with these cameras. So we're just going to do a quick format, start and it gives you a warning. Everything's going to be erased off the disk. Okay, that's fine. And okay. So now we've got a formatted card. There's nothing on it. So we're going to pull it out of the card reader. And next thing we do is we just plug the card right into the camera. And I'm just going to do a test picture real quick and a, and a video. So we hold the uh, button down, power button. Okay, now we're ready to take a picture. I'm going to take a picture of nothing really. So, uh. Hey, okay, just took a picture. Now I'm going to hold the center button down. We're going to record some video. There goes the light. See how it's blinking? It's now recording video. It went out, so now we're recording video. Video, video, video. Okay, now you press the K2 button to stop recording. Okay, and hold the button down, the K2 button, to power it off. Okay, now it's off. So now we're going to remove the card. These things can be kind of tricky to remove. Might need tweezers. There it goes. The card goes back into the card reader. Okay, it should pop up immediately if you've got Windows saying that you've got a uh, removable disk and G drive. So we're going to open the folder and DCIM. And here we've got a picture right here and a video right here. So going to open the picture up. And again, this picture is of absolutely nothing. Part of my computer case, I think. But you can see the date on there is 2013, September 7th. And the time is... I didn't set the time right, apparently, the last time I did it. So we're going to fix that. Because it is... Oh, the date's wrong, too. So this will be, be good. This will be good. Because the actual date is 9-8-2013, and the time is 11-24. Yet this picture shows 9-7-2013. Uh, somewhere around 11.23 at night, and that's completely incorrect. It's actually 11.25 in the morning. Okay, so we're just going to delete these files right here. The, the files that I just took, we're just going to go ahead and delete those. Yes, delete them. Okay, now we've got a blank 2 gigabyte card. Okay, now with the uh, card still in the card reader, I'm going to open up two windows here. Okay, I got two windows open. This one over here is the two gigabyte card, and this is my hard drive. So I'm going to grab the correct folder off my hard drive over here, and we'll show you what this file is all about here in a second. Okay, now I already have a copy of the time file that I saved inside this folder with my VW key camera stuff. So we're just going to copy that, right click on it, copy it. Okay, and then we're going to take it over here. I'm going to put it in the root directory of my uh, G drive, which is actually this card in that card reader. Okay, so we're just going to right click here and we're going to paste it in there. Okay, so now we've got one file on that two gigabyte card and it's called time text. Double click on it and if I was to put this, this uh, text file on my card right now and start up the camera, it would change the date and time to this, but that's incorrect. So the main thing is you want to make sure there's no extra spaces in here. Okay, you don't want to have like a say, a, you don't want to you don't want to hit the enter key and have a a space in there. You don't want to have any of these in there. Okay, so you want to make absolutely certain. I'm deleting all those. There's nothing on this side or underneath it or anything. You've got one, the only space you have here is that right there. That's the only space. So we're going to change the year, 2013. And it's September, so that's 9. And today is the 8th. So we're going to put an 8 right there. Now the time is 1127. So we're going to type in 1128 because it's probably going to take us a minute to do this. Okay. So 11, 28, and as I'm talking, it actually just turned to that. Okay, so we'll put in 11, 28. We'll go 11, 29, because it's going to take me a minute to get this going. 
Let's go 112900. Okay, now we're going to save that. Okay. So it saved this file. If I double click on it, you can see that's on my root directory on my G drive, which happens to be this card. Okay. So now I'm going to get off of that card because I don't like to pull cards out while the computer's looking at them. Pull the card out. Then we reinstall the card inside the camera. Now the only thing on the card is that text file. This thing's going to be a pain, I can tell. Do I have it upside down? Yes, I do. Plug that in. Now we're going to power the unit on by holding the K2 button down. There it goes. And it goes blue, some other weird colors. It starts blinking. Okay, now it goes to standby mode. Now, honestly, I don't know whether it's changed the time yet or not. I don't know if I shut it off right now, if it would do it or not. What I normally do is I take a picture. Let's take a picture real quick. That's going to be of nothing. You'll probably be able to see my hand. I didn't hit the button hard enough. Okay, the light goes out, and then it comes back on. That shows it takes a picture. Okay, now we're going to do a video. Hold it down until it starts blinking, and it starts blinking, so then you remove your hand. Now it's blinking, and then it goes out. So now it's taking video taking video, taking video, taking video, okay? So now we're going to stop recording by hitting the K2 button and then shut the unit down by holding the K2 button down and then it goes off. Now we're going to remove the card and we're going to check the files to see if we've indeed changed the time. So the micro SD card goes right back up here in this handy little reader. So my dialog box came up saying that I have inserted a card. So we're going to open the folder and there are... Now if you notice in the root directory here, my G drive now, what's disappeared? The time text file has disappeared. Okay, that means it more than likely worked. Okay, we're going to open this folder and then that subfolder. Now here's our picture. What does our picture say? Look at that. 2013, 9... September 8th, is this focused, kinda? Okay, and the time is 11.29 and 15 seconds when I took that picture. And that's correct. It was about two minutes ago when I took it. Okay, now let's check the video out. Again, that picture is of absolutely nothing. This video is gonna be of absolutely nothing either. I was holding it off to the side. You can see my computer case. Oh, it starts blinking and it starts blinking, so then you remove your hand. That's uh, blinking and then it goes out. So now it's taking video. Taking video, taking video, taking video, okay? So now we're going to stop recording by hitting the K2 button. Okay, I'm just pausing it right there so you can see. 2013, September 8th, 112936, which is exactly when we took that video. Anyway, guys, that's how you set the time on the Volkswagen camera. The procedure is similar for the 808 keychain camera, the 909 and the lighter camera, but the text files are slightly different. Okay, They might have periods, or they might have spaces, or they might have slashes. So just pay attention to the instruction sheet that I send you with the device, and you shouldn't have any problems setting the time. If you got a problem setting the time, just email me at glassdogangle at yahoo.com, or um, contact me through eBay messages, and I'll get back to you. Okay, Thank you very much, and I hope this helps.